what's up everybody it's your girl b back with another video okay so i was getting some i was cooking i was cooking and i was getting some intuitive messages when i was cooking so i don't know if you guys understand energy so i wanted to a quick lesson i wanted to give you guys some insight about what i learned about energy and how you okay so we talk about energy everybody knows what energy is i'm talking about like for myself i have a very high vibrate like i have a very like my energy gets it's like everywhere it could be it could be it's very high it's like I, i'm like a kid like i wake up and i'm like ready to go like i'm very like energetic stuff like that but people could be you know some people may not like it some people may not like it other people may not resonate with my energy and that's fine but seek seclusion and kindness is what i just see so maybe for myself i stick to myself a lot i do a lot of my stuff by myself or with one other person or like you know i do i i'm not always by myself but i do i am alone most of the time and i you know i feel like um what i wanted to tell you guys is energy when you are i think i've spoken about this before when you are intimate with people when you spread your energy too thin when you're always around different people your friends that energy gets transmuted you when you're around somebody for a really long time and i just saw get clear when you're around somebody and that person makes you feel like when you leave the person's energy if you're in a good mood that means that that person is giving off good energy if you can't wait to get away from somebody that means that person is giving off negative energy or you're trying too hard or there's just some in, um, imbalance in the energies that doesn't mean the person is bad it just means that you guys are not on an energetic match that doesn't mean that you get rid of a person or that doesn't mean that you don't talk to the person it just means that you the energy doesn't resonate with you at the moment self-love and grateful came up unconditional love so what's coming to my mind is like I couldn't under sometimes I didn't understand people I didn't understand when people were quiet I didn't understand like I thought like when people were quiet that that meant that like they didn't like you or they didn't like me but I feel I really understood that when people are quiet or when they're they're just trying to listen they're just trying to understand things more and sometimes it takes being quiet <laughs> to really listen to what isn't being said so and it's not to say if you're not learning and reawaken i feel like people are learning or you could be it says learning and reawaken um mental repetition what you tell yourself over and over again um you know can shape your reality also what i wanted to tell you guys is when you spread your energy too thin meaning with with people when you talk too much about what you want before your blessings come in it can throw three 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 when i look up it can throw you off it can throw your manifestations off so i try to just obviously it's okay to speak about certain situations and to like get advice in some way shape or form but i feel like in general keeping to yourself and like not really always telling people what you're up to and like what you're trying to manifest never speak about your manifestations before they come in um just try to stick to yourself whenever you are trying to manifest something open up your heart chakra open up your chakras yoga is really good stretching um taking walks being in silence meditating um cooking can even be when you are alone when you have time to sit and you're not like you can even get downloads like i can be chilling and something will come on which i don't watch tv but like let's say i'm at my parents and i'll have something on well um where did the freaking card go well oh it's right here um sorry it it those things like you can get channeled messages through shows um through songs through a lot of different things so you guys got this the strength card which talks about this is the leo card it, it also talks about 
you know you are very strong willed i've talked about this in my last reading was you have tamed the beast you're see that person is closing the the lion's mouth because they are they are silencing that look at the king of swords maybe somebody who was very just cold towards you maybe they were very like the king of swords is somebody who's very logical maybe somebody wants to come and bring you some sort of pentacle maybe they see you maybe you have taught this person a lot mm, i'm talking about sexual energy maybe you really taught this person a lot the emperor came out the Knight of Wands came out, which talks about somebody in some sort of promiscuous energy. And then the Hermit, which talks about keeping to themselves. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Virgo, or Aries, Leo. Definitely a fire sign or a Virgo. So when you hold your sexual energy in, sexual energy is very, very powerful. You can manifest when you withhold your energy. And also you can tell by somebody's energy if when you're doing, when you're intimate with somebody and you leave that energy and you remove yourself from that person or like not, not like leave, but like when you're done and you leave and you're separated from the person, how do you feel? Do you feel depleted or do you feel wounded? So I feel like maybe this person felt very wounded. There was, maybe there was somebody that was, oh, and we can talk about people can manipulate other people with sexual energy because, you know, when you're in a, in a happy state, you know, what I'm thinking about is working out. When you're, when you work out, it releases um, endorphins. It releases like happiness. So maybe this person was juggling uh, see a queen of wands somebody the queen, queen of wands it could also mean like a lot of third parties it could be people that they just find sexually attractive that's in a lower vibration if the queen of wands is in a lower vibration it could just mean that somebody who kind of just is out there so you could be a masculine or you could be a feminine you could you could have spread your sexual energy very thin in the past but i feel like now you are learning from that and you're withholding your energy because you receive a lot of abundance when you withhold your sexual energy or when you are just with one person, your person. Maybe somebody wants to take some sort of leap of faith. Maybe somebody was also being a fool when it came to their sexual energy. Again, with this King of Swords, the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like this person sees you. I'm, I'm going to stop it. They want a second chance with you because we see judgment right here. This person can drop very fast because I see like some race card coming right here. Oh, and he's bumping his music where that's just the base of the car of the uh what is it called i was gonna say esophagus <laughs> of their um what is it called muffler i don't know whatever it's like their exhaust 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 <laughs> uh maybe this person's exhausted maybe if you feel depleted exhausted after some like after an exchange of words if you're energetically exchanging your idea like if you feel depleted if you feel like like i can tell when i get into energy if i feel like it's too chaotic i could feel it and i have to like take a step back and just be like okay sit down or like i kind of have to ground my own mind i've learned how to do that some uh, you know it's i feel like this is just how i do it i'm sorry if i'm not saying that this is how everybody should do it but this is just what i do i kind of just like calm my energy down or i like tell myself like everything's cool you know any anyways like if i'm ever feeling anxious but because i i do have a history of anxiousness that's just me um i feel like somebody wants to ask for some sort of second chance the judgment talks about a second chance because they want victory with you i feel like they see you and they see you as the star somebody could be watching you because they see you see they have the world in their hand which talks about like the and I've just heard, heard like the world wide web. So maybe on the internet, maybe on your social media. May, I mean, if you're not on a platform, you could just on Instagram, on Facebook. Maybe people, you know, people could click on your page if you have social media. If you don't have social media, I mean, I mean, everybody kind of has social media in some way, shape or form. And they know how to like get in contact with them. I feel a lot of people know. So I feel like somebody really sees you as a star. You could be an Aquarius. You could also be a Scorpio. So I feel like maybe there was some sort of sneaky behavior 
in the past because the seven of swords and the ten of swords or maybe this is something that could have caused some sort of ending but i feel like this person has not changed their energy or they weren't wanting to change their energy i feel like somebody really wants to heal work towards you and we were talking about this queen of i mean this king of swords i feel like somebody is definitely healing and holding back from someone that has been it could be an aquarius libra or a gemini it could be any sign i'm sorry if i say a sign that you don't like or if, if it's triggering for you guys to listen to if i say something it's literally what comes out in my brain i really hope nobody ever feels offended anyways because you know we all embody every single i could be the queen of cups one day and i could be the queen of swords the next day like we can we switch energies and in, in, in many you just have to use your discernment if this is your story this somebody could be holding back from somebody who is very you could be holding back from multiple people because we do have the queen of cups right here queen of swords or you could just be holding back from multiple people because you want a happy <laughs> you want to receive some sort of happy ending with your empress because we did see the emperor that was holding back. Maybe some sort of commitment. Maybe you have been trying to invest your time or be patient 11-11. As I look, maybe you're trying to be patient and waiting for all your chips to fall. And like, and I'm hearing like, let the chips fall where they may or something like that. I don't know. Uh, now I'm getting the movie um, 21. Maybe you met this person when you were 21. Maybe you met this person in 2021 last year or something like that or maybe something significant happened in 2021 wow i have all these cards down here i didn't even realize hold on so we definitely got the king and queen of pentacles so it's definitely your counterpart i feel like you guys maybe somebody's holding back from multiple options maybe and i'm getting i'm like a bird i only fly away something like that i don't know where my soul is king of wands a visionary leader somebody who's very passionate about you i feel like somebody's watching you wanting to give you some sort of equal give and take so i think the lovers somebody's made a choice Ooh, ace of wands i'm talking about sexual energy wow all these cards the high priestess this is somebody oh my gosh this is definitely oh wow these are all very good cards someone's gonna be coming in fast i'm coming in hot I keep saying it um the high priestess could be a pisces um you could be dealing with the pisces a capricorn gemini or leo this could be you or your your person um i feel like you guys are going to be receiving some sort of financial abundance like wealth um, this could be your twin flame because we do have, this is 1111 and I did see 1111, 1242 I just saw right there. So that could be significant for you. It could be an address, something like that. Or it could be the time. It's not the time right now, but um, this is a twin flame right here. If you guys see the 1111, this is, I feel like somebody's watching you. This could also mean an abundance. They see you as, maybe somebody's obsessed with you. They're obsessed with your light and they really see you as somebody that they can build with this is stability and this is a brand new opportunity i feel like you see this coming in 13 13 there's gonna definitely be definitely gonna be some sort of transformation the magician this is a gemini card mercury maybe some communication is gonna be coming in maybe you already intuitively know this so yeah that's what i got for you guys i just wanted to give you guys a quick little energy check and talk to you guys about energy 1333 and how exchanging energy can really affect you, can really affect your thought process, can affect your day-to-day. -day. Like, really, when you have negative energy in you, that means like, okay, and I don't, I'm, I'm sorry to say this analogy, but this is how I've learned about like, when well, you need to use the restroom and you gotta go number two, that's toxicity inside of you. And they say when you hold, hold in that, that's negative energy, that's toxic in your body. When you release that, you feel so much better, right? So it's like you got to release the negative shit in your life. And um, yeah, you'll receive your abundance. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully it resonates. Hopefully this teaches you guys something. Hopefully this is, I don't know. This is how it makes sense in my brain. And this is how I've learned how to manifest so um yeah let me know if this works for you let me know if this is something that you guys are working on if this resonates with you if you guys ever need any help you guys can always email me i guess i should put my email in the description my instagram is down there but yeah anyways i hope you guys like the video and if it resonates let me know like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one take care bye